Oh, hey guys, welcome to KWTV 0024, where today we are going to talk about alternative input methods for the iPad. Hey guys, welcome to KWTV 0024 Alternative Input Methods for the iPad. Welcome to a loungy uh, evening here at Casa del Nightwise, where it's me sitting on the couch with my tablet, with my iPad, watching TV, doing some reading, and doing all kinds of stuff. Fun little device this is, and uh, over the last few months it has become more and more of a, well let's say a computer replacement especially when I'm lounging out on my couch right here. Cool little device it is, and you know, you can read books on it, and watch movies on it, and surf the internet on it, that's all nice and dandy, but you know, when it comes to entering text, I find myself typing away like this, trying to thumb fight on a uh, screen that is actually a little bit too large, or I try to tilt it into portrait mode, and I'm tapping away like this, not always very convenient. Now, this is a touch device, so you're supposed to swipe your fingers on it and do all kinds of stuff with it, but in the end, is that all it is? Because it's a pretty powerful device, it has a nice screen and it has a great interface, and yet I find it to be lacking at moments when it comes down to, you know, just entering data that can be typing or perhaps even writing something on it. So I search long and hard how to turn my iPad well, up a notch, turn it into more of a, well, a device that really works for me, using two interesting gadgets. Those gadgets we are going to review today, and we are going to talk about two things that will help you, um, well, enter data onto your iPad, and does the iPad work for you? So, I'm going to watch a little bit, t uh, a little bit uh, of TV. I'm in my PJs, by the way. See, that's how late it is. And uh, I'm going to read a little bit, and we're going to watch the little demo that we did about the Zagmate keyboard case and the Pogo Sketch stylus for your iPad. Enjoy! On the edge of real and cyberspace, there's one place you can go, and you found it. Welcome to KWTV, where today we are going to do a short review of some alternative input devices for your iPad. This is my first generation iPad, it's called a first generation right now, and what revolutionized this little device is of course the fact that you can put all kinds of stuff on there and interact with your fingers. Swipe, squeeze, pinch, whatever you want to do, even the uh, whole angry birds uh, pulling back the red birds and stuff like that, it's all done with your hands. And you know, there are some options for entering text and stuff like that, like say, for example, when you want to write up an email, it's pretty handy to use the on-screen keyboard, even if you are doing so in portrait mode or landscape mode. This is all fine and dandy and very Star trek -y and futuristic if you want to type short emails, quick replies, Twitter messages, stuff like that. But the question is, is it always the most productive way to work? Now, I know what you're going to say. Well, Nightwise, um, your iPad is not really a, well, content creation device. You said so yourself. This is a communication device, a content uh, consumption device. You don't need to type long texts on here. Well, you kind of could be wrong because, quite frankly, what I like about the iPad is the fact that it is a pretty distraction-free interface. It lets you do stuff, read a book, uh, flip through RSS feeds, stuff like that, but because it's not really a multi-task OS, well, it does do multi-task, but it doesn't show you several apps at once, it is actually quite nice to type on. One of the things I found to do this great app is called um, Simp uh, what's, what's the app called? Sorry, I ticked it away. Clean Writer, that's what it's called. And this is a very simple interface that lets you type up text on a green background. We'll see if you can move it to the camera a little bit lighter here. 
and there are absolutely no distractions there and it lets you set up or mark up text very very easily and share that text via email or Dropbox it's a great app it's not free I think it's about uh, 79 cents in the App Store and I found it to be very interesting when I was wanting to use the iPad to write on now the keyboard is nice but after a while it really gets annoying so I thought aren't there any alternative ways that we can use to uh, make this iPad a little bit more functional well I found one this product is featured on the internet very very uh, frequently I've seen several pages uh, which I visited where I found the Zagmate the Zagmate is actually an aluminum lid for your iPad with an onboard keyboard Bluetooth onboard keyboard that not only lets it protect your iPad but also lets it uh, be used as a keyboard now before we take a look at the functionality we'll take a look at the design as you can see it has a little hole here for your charger it has a mini USB port so you can charge the battery of the Bluetooth keyboard and here uh, along the edge if you look very carefully let's see where it is you see that there is a little um, dent made for the power button and you know it's all pretty snug and I'll show you why because you can actually use it as a lid for your iPad just press it down and you can see that it is completely uh, snug fitting and now this is just I just pushed my iPad inside now we're gonna do something daring shake 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 it's not coming out it's really really snug it's a good fit and it's very very sturdy um, well nice but here is the combo that is pretty cool when you use this keyboard getting it out is a little bit of a drag when you use this keyboard you can actually activate Bluetooth on your iPad activate Bluetooth on the power switch here there you go lights up and flip this little stand Let's see here we go flip this little stand right up set it down and slide in your iPad now the way this works is there is a as you saw a little bit earlier on there's a little um, slot here there you see this one and it has a little stand here so you can just you know pop up your iPad just like that and start doing what you want to do now if you want to type something just open up the writing application now normally it should detect my Zagmate case and uh, remove this the on-screen keyboard let's wait for it to come up doesn't really want to come up so I'm not sure if I charge the battery completely it does need to pair it needs a few seconds let's see where we are there you go it takes a few uh, seconds to pair and well you're writing away and this uh, application uh, this this accessory also works in all of the iPad applications of course like mail and safari and god knows what now um, it does look quite funky actually and it does make your ipad look like a little netbook and if you're out and about with this thing you really uh, get some questions about what it is the cool thing that i think that you can do is put it in um, portrait mode like this so you can actually really type up large articles uh, while you're working and the cool thing is you can listen to music at the same time and it's not as distracting as a laptop and you don't have to take a full laptop with you and it's also instant on so just if you want to go somewhere just do the whole instant on thing now I'll talk you through some of the functions that are on this keyboard because it does act like a regular iPad keyboard with this button you can set the language volume up down uh, mute play forward back pause and um, there are some options here that let you go through the main screen that you let you go to the search screen that you let you go to the um, whole uh, what's it called the camera dia the, the camera 
or the photo frame thing and stuff like that. Now we'll demonstrate. I'm hooking up the iPad here. I'm inside an application. Okay, let's say I want to go to the main menu again. Just press the main menu button. That's it. I want to go to the search menu, second button, search menu, start typing away my search box and let the iPad go look for it. I can uh, switch it into uh, photo frame mode, or this is um, power, yeah, this is photo frame mode. Okay, I can switch it off, that's it. There's no, there, are, there aren't a lot of pictures on my uh, iPad for the moment, so it takes a while to go into photo frame mode. Uh, you can uh, also select the volume, let's go back to the main screen. Uh, there we go, we'll just launch up some music, show you the volume stuff. So, there you go, play. Up the volume, down the volume. Next track, previous track, hop back to the main menu, let it continue to play, go to the application that you want to go to, and start typing away. So it kind of turns your iPad into a little notebook, netbook thing while keeping your iPad safe at the same time. Uh, you can charge it via mini USB and I'll uh, walk you through some of the uh, features of the case itself because this is how you use it as a keyboard but you can also use it as a case. It is very very snug around the iPad so that's good. It has some uh, indentations in the foam for the volume button and for uh, the main power button. What I like about this, I have used uh, the Apple Bluetooth keyboard before, but whenever the Bluetooth keyboard would be bumped or accidentally a key would be pressed, the Bluetooth keyboard would activate, the battery would be drained, the iPad would activate, its battery would be drained, and this way, this baby just has a general off switch that you just turn off and save battery power. These edges, when you're typing away, are a little bit on the sharp side, and I uh, kind of think that's too bad, because um, you do have an indentation here, a, a little uh, lower part where you can actually put your palms on while you're typing, but it is kind of sharp, and you especially uh, get annoyed with these little corners, but once you're uh, kind of used to the typing, it's okay. As for strength, it does protect your case. The iPad with the Zag case uh, fell out of my bag. And if you can just see the dent right here that the uh, Zag made case took for my iPad, because that would have been the corner of my iPad. And it would be, you know, I think the glass would break when it would uh, get a little dent like this. So all in all, a very interesting product, comes at $99 uh, from zag.com. Uh, the only downside, I think, is, you know, this kind of scratches. But the people from Zag, they have a special uh, screen for you to stick on there, uh, and that's, of course, their core business. And with the iPad itself, since I've been using it like that, I did manage to get... Um, a scratch, some scratches on my iPad here, as you see in the light, because, you know, the back end of your iPad basically isn't protected. But uh, all in all, it lets you charge the iPad, it gives you a very good protection, and it adds great functionality to the iPad. So, for 99 euros from zag.com, Z-A-G-G.com, this very sturdy and very stable enhancement for your iPad the Zagmate case. The second way of using your iPad uh, with alternative input methods, if we can put it like that, is using this baby. 
I don't know if you can see it in the light very good, but this is the Pogo Sketch Stylus.